And now at noon, the newly passed COVID relief package may be in jeopardy. President Trump is suggesting he may not sign the bipartisan bill that provides unemployment benefits and stimulus checks to struggling Americans because he says it does not provide enough relief. CBS 4's Bofta Imam has the details from the White House. And to send me a suitable bill or else the next administration will have to deliver a COVID relief package. In a surprise move, President Trump last night demanded Congress revise the $900 billion COVID relief legislation it recently passed. I am asking Congress to amend this bill and increase the ridiculously low $600 to $2,000 or $4,000 for a couple. It was mostly Republicans, not Democrats, who opposed higher stimulus payments. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi tweeted last night, at last, the president has agreed to $2,000. Democrats are ready to bring this to the floor. But other lawmakers expressed concern. Republican Senator Lindsey Graham tweeted, the COVID-19 package, while imperfect, will save jobs and lives. Democrat Mark Warner asked, does the president realize that unemployment benefits expire the day after Christmas? Many struggling Americans say they will take what they can get. 600 is 600 is better than not having anything at all. The president didn't go so far as to threaten to veto the mammoth bill, and both houses passed the measure by large enough margins that they could override a veto if he does. President-elect Joe Biden called the bipartisan legislation a first step. Like all compromises, it's far from perfect, but it does provide vital relief at a critical moment. The president-elect formally introduces Connecticut's Education Commissioner Miguel Cardona as his nominee for Education Secretary today. Both de Imam, CBS News, the White House.